institutions in the rich and developed <coughs> nations of the West. Dogs are bringing large amounts of cash with him on the flights. He was flying out of London like nobody's business. <laughs> It's January 2004. Police are called to a hotel in Marble Arch where a guest is outside his room on the fifth floor, giving away money. He was throwing 50 pound notes around like confetti. Throw, what do you mean, giving the staff? Giving the staff money, yeah. Just like that? Yeah. He just came out from the hotel room. There was staff of the hotel that was fortunate to pass along the, I mean, in front of his hotel room, which had given money. Because he had so much. Of yes, the guest with the hot cash was a senior politician from Nigeria, a state governor. His name was Joshua Darié. Darié's arrest over time would lead investigators to worldwide networks for laundering money. Politicians in Africa would steal millions, and then people in supposedly respectable offices in London and elsewhere would bury the traces cover them up so they looked legitimate. In Nigeria, state governors rule the roost. They're viewed with either awe or contempt. Nasarawa, supporters of their former governor, Aliu Akwe Doma, are on the streets. Doma himself is at the courthouse, 